the weather is improving and it's turning into a sunny Florida day. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about two of these lawn tractors right here. We got the Troy Built 42 inch Pony and Bronco. And there's reasons why I have each of them and I'll go over them with you. First, I'm not ashamed to admit I use residential lawn equipment for commercial lawn use. It makes sense for me. I have a lot of accounts. When something goes down, when one of these mowers goes down, I have the other one as the backup. And I can also run two crews if I want. And that's all for the same price as what one commercial use piece of lawn equipment would, you, would get me through. I've had this one right here. This is the Pony. I've had this one for about nine months. It's taken quite a beating. And I've had this one, the Bronco, for about three months. And it's actually faring very well. The the main issues that I've had with the Pony, we'll talk about this one first. Well, the difference between the two, as you can see on the deck, are the the skid wheels. I would definitely advise getting the the Bronco because of the deck reliability. I've hit many obstacles with this deck. It doesn't have any way to protect itself. So it just gets caught on everything. You can see down here on this part of the deck, it's actually cracked. Um, I've tried tying it up. I have, a new, I have a new deck on order. When I start piecing that together, I'll do a video to show you how to do that. Um, but that's the, that's the main issue here, is this deck. Um, th there's a design difference in the decks between the two machines. You can see the pulley. I don't know if you can see or not, but the pulley's in here. First, the pulley's on here. This is a much larger pulley on the on the Bronco, so the belt stays on the pulley a lot, a lot better than on the Pony. Um, another thing with the skid wheels that it protects is on the on the Pony. I had to have this welded in. Um, it, it just kept hitting. And eventually this is a weak point right here in the structure and that cracks so um, definitely definitely worth the better deck the, the thing I don't like about the Bronco of the Pony is it says it's an automatic Troy built does not have an automatic transmission what it is it it's just a belt drive that goes from the motor to the transmission and this pedal right here this determines how much tension is on that. That's the belt tensioner and th the further you push down on the belt the more tension it is on the rear pulley to drive the transmission and that's what gives it the appearance of an automatic or variable drive. But it's just, it, it's the same transmission as the Pony has, just it uh, ha has a different, different drive. The, this is fixed This is your clutch, and you can adjust this. You can have the same, this will give you the same effect. And the nice thing about it is if you have a large property to do, with the Pony, you just push down on here, push down on your clutch, go wide open, and drive. The Bronco, on the other hand, you need to keep your foot down on that pedal for the whole 45 minutes that you're doing a large property. So, between the two of them, an ideal configuration, I think, would be the Pony drivetrain with the Bronco deck. Now, one of the issues I'm finding out in piecing together the deck for the 42-inch Pony, because I would probably like that configuration, I would pay for it, is this deck doesn't seem to have a replacement part number. So, Troy Belt, if you're listening, you know, that's, uh, if I knew that ahead of time, I might have went with, you know, something different, maybe a John Deere, where I knew I'd be able to get a deck if it broke, because it seems if the, the Bronco deck breaks, I have to go to the Pony configuration, and that is not a winning one for me.
the machines have held up well. I have no real complaints with either of them. And for the amount of abuse that I put them through, I'm very happy with the quality that they cut, with their durability and longevity. The for the pony, the pony probably has about 700 hours on it, and I got 700 hours of commercial use on a deck for residential use. And I'm I'll bush hog with it. Um, I have guys who ride it. They they ride these things like they're ATVs. They don't care, which isn't a good thing or a bad thing. It's just it's just how it is with the business. But they these these machines do take abuse. For about a thousand dollars for the pony, twelve hundred dollars for the Bronco. At Lowe's, it, it, it's a it's a no brainer. Over you know, twenty four hundred dollars to three thousand dollars for a similar snapper at a at a, a commercial dealer. So, anyway, um, leave comments, ask questions, and if there's anything you want to know, I'll give another follow-up video or I'll respond to your comments. Thank you for watching.